Welcome. <laughs> Hello world. My name is Cromeray and welcome to Goodnight Bobby. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Are we Bobby or are we saying goodnight to some some child named Bobby? Or maybe not child exactly. Alright, Dad. What? Alright, little monkey. It's time to sleep now. Oh no. What's going on? I'm scared in this new house. Oh, Bobby, there's nothing to be afraid of. Mmm. It's a new house, but you'll get used to it. Don't worry. May maybe you're right. Can you bring me my cup? I want to finish my hot chocolate. Alrighty then. <laughs> the new house syndrome. I understand that. Some weird nightmares occurred for me when I moved into a new house once, twice. Maybe every new house. <laughs> Is that their doc? That's a cute... It looks like a stuffed animal. Hey, here's your hot chocolate, um, Bobby. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> You're welcome, Bobby. It's the logo from the people who make the games that plays at the beginning of all of these. So, what is that? Bobby? That's not Bobby. You're not my son. You forgot the light, Dad. Can you turn it off, please? On my way. No. But that's not Bobby. But th He stuffed Bobby in a closet. Now he's pretending to be my son. What's that noise? Why is the hot coffee? That's not hot coffee. That's soup. You're the best, Dad. <laughs> You're not the best creature who's pretending to be my son. I keep on hearing noises. I'm going to wait for it again. You hear that? Really? What is that? I think that's a a slip from an old movie. I'm not sure which one, but I feel like I've... That's a really classic, like, way before my time horror movie. Or maybe even sci-fi. Daddy... Yes, Bobby. Can you close the curtains? I'm scared. Why are you scared, son? I feel like I'm being watched while I sleep. Watched? By who? A big creature with claws. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing, Bobby. It's probably just the trees. I'll close the curtains. Yeah, Bobby wants me to close the curtains so he can kill me where no one can see. Even the trees. The curtains are closed. Thank you so much. Can I leave? Goodbye, Bobby. I don't I don't think you're Bobby, though. This is Bobby. I can't talk to Bobby in the closet. Dad? Yes? Can I ask you one last thing? Sure. Can you turn on the music box? I like to hear music when I kill you and no one can hear. <laughs> sure thing. Where is the music box? There, it's the one with the heart on it. <laughs> Bobby, go to sleep. Thank you, Dad. No problemo. Now, let me out. Maybe that's why I'm still here. I know it's a monster, and I'm just trying to be nice and pretend I don't. So he'll let me f go. I like this tune, though. Also like Top Ramen. I wish I could eat this ramen, or whatever type of ramen it is. Not all ramen's top ramen. Are you good now? It's time to sleep. Yes. Do you want me to check under the bed? No, I'm fine. All right, maybe in the closet then. Huh? No. I don't want you to see. <laughs> don't worry. I'll. I can have a look. Uh. -uh. I don't know. Bobby, what are you doing here? How is that possible? Dad, who are you talking to? Oh God, no, Bobby! I knew it all along. Did she just exit through the window and come back as a dinosaur, Bobby? <laughs> Thanks for playing. Made by the Infinite Noodle for the two-minute 
horror game jam. Oh, because the game's a two minute long, but game jams are still super short, like super fast made. <laughs> that would be insane and not impossible if someone could make that in two minutes. Well, that was so cool. I like that concept so much. I know I mentioned it in the game called Dimension, but at the end of that, a kid was following us around and it turned out to be like a fake kid. Well, then again, it was just for all five seconds and it was at the end, but I still loved it. This game was all about that concept of the kid actually not being the real one and the real one being stuffed in the closet. Kind of like how in Harry Potter, I just played a recent game that had a Harry Potter reference. So now it's fresh in my mind where um, Mad-Eye Moody, is that his name? Yeah, he was locked in the trunk while um, the, the, the son of the Minister of Magic, one of the Death Eaters or something, was pretending to be him and he was making all the children suffer at the school for the sake of Voldemort. Anyway, I really like that concept. I hope you did too. So thank you for watching. <clears throat> and we'll meet again in the next contingency. You live and die by the stall. At least it's clean. I don't see any dirt except, well, that doesn't look very sanitary. I even see a word scratched above it written.